Mega Salamence is back on the channel. And by back on the channel, I mean I had never used this buddy before in, in the history of me recording. But he is here, and he's about to blow my opponent's team to smithereens. Obviously, I don't see from Bumble Claw, wonderful user, wonderful player, wonderful team builder, passing me nothing but absolute sauce. And you know what's crazy too? I didn't even see this Marshadow just lurking here. But I'm getting to use Mega Mid today with a nice little dragon spam team, courtesy of Bumble Claw. And let's just let's just lead off with our Kurum. Our Kurum. That bear the whole Kurum. It's gonna be fine. I need to see everyone that's watching right now subscribe. We have been climbing up this Natdex Uber's ladder. I have no intention to stopping. I will hit rank one in 2050, but we will get there. It's gonna be glorious. Now here, I kind of want to Terra Fairy immediately, and there's a very obvious reason for that. This mod's a fucking problem. I don't even think Dynamax Cannon kills, by the way, from full. Like, if I check the calculator, if I, if I run the mathematics in my head, like I, like I want to, right? Here I'm white. Um, sure, Sager this. I really don't like the Meteor Beam kills this, and Dynamax does not. I will be Meteor Beaming. As they were Scarf, I could have Terra Ferried and avoided this entire issue, but my opponent is simply better at the game of Pokemon than I am. So, I was right to say that was the good play. But me, wanting to be greedy, I did not act on my... My knowledge of what my opponent was up to. I'm gonna stay in a rock tomb. No, this is a dumb play if I do that. I want to keep this guy around nice and healthy from our shadow. So I'll instead be going into you. Was it fortunate my opponent is toxic? Jesus Christ, dude. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> my ass out here like, yeah, I'm gonna hit rank one, guys. Smile. No. No, you will not hit rank one. You will hit rank zero. You will anti-ladder into the shadow realm. I hate- Dude, you wanna know why though I didn't Terra Fairy? Ice Beam was so free from them, and I did not think they would just give up Kyurem turn one. Like, realistically, that was a- that was a misplay. But it worked out. Um... What's your item? I'm gonna stay in an over- I feel like he's- I might be faster after this? Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know what this dude's item was. Maybe Helmet? It's just kind of weird to see a non-boots of Eltal unless they're Life Orb. But, I don't think you're gonna be toxic in that case, you know? So they go out to Eternatus. Now, if they themselves are the demon set, I wanna say I live? Yeah, I live a hit no matter what, so I'm just gonna blades. Yeah, I, I, I get out of here. And they miss, nice. Um, That miss sucks for them, because now my P-Dawn is at, you know, instead of being down at like 25% health, I'm up nearly at an 80. And this mod is a huge threat to their entire team. And then I got the U. We know there's Scarf. I'm actually just always going to go Ho-Oh now. Is it like super free? Like, oh, Ho oh, will not die to anything they go for here. They Drake. It doesn't even do half. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it ain't looking too hot for our opponent here. I'm just going to throw off a Brig Bird. As we crit them too, so that sucks. <laughs> for them, for me, it's fantastic. I mean, I'm chilling. I am big chill right now, and we're also just getting all these stealth rock turns too. I am gonna keep Darkseus around. They've got the last respect, sir. I need to keep this mon around. Um, he's just gonna Drake again and pick a K KO up. I could sack him. Kind of think. Do I have any Terra's that even help? I don't know why I'm checking this <laughs> or this. This has been Terra ground every time I've used it. <laughs> um, no, I really don't have any useful Terra's. Marshadow, I should be able to check still, even if I sack Dawn. Is they Ice Beam? Yeah, we, we, we know they're doing that. Um, this will just give us Ho-Oh again, but we need to make sure we can get rid of the... Maybe he thinks that I can Terra, though. <laughs> Dude's gonna expect the Terra Water, and he's gonna switch. Keep in mind, I cannot Terra this month, but who knows? Maybe our opponent is not familiar with this. Uh, yeah. I'm also rocked too because it's my most accurate move, just in case for some reason my opponent just collapses at their keyboard and, like, dies. You know, it would work. And here, I can just throw off a Sacred Fire. I honestly feel like I need to switch, but I'm gonna Sacred Fire. He can still tear at himself, right? Yeah, he hasn't. This is a bit of a nuisance, though. How little Drake did to me? 
I definitely live a Terra Fire Ice Beam. Or not Terra Fire Ice Beam. A Terra Ice Ice Beam. And I'm just trying to make sure that I don't get Kiram'd down. The main thing I'd like to do is get set up with my Mens. I'm just not sure it does. Like, if I get a DD up with Mens, it's kind of jove. Because I am faster than this at plus one, once I'm Mega. You may not you may not think it now, considering I'm an Adam in Salamence, but do not fear. Mega Mens is much faster. <laughs> so we Sacred Fire here. It is definitely not a guaranteed win. It'll also be Sacred Fire just in case they, um... They get a freeze randomly. I forget if you could even freeze fire types, dude. I'm really not that smart when it comes to Pokemon. But it need not matter. They go Marsh. If they were Sash, we broke the Sash. It's pretty cool. I sack you always here just because we never let this go for like some random setup. Um, is it Jove? If he's Ice Punch, it is a little scary. It is a little scary. <laughs> I've decided you're not Ice Punch. Alright. Well, my decision seemingly was fine. Actually, I don't know if it was. Alright, never mind. It was fine. <laughs> I was really scared. <laughs> Yo, I was really scared when you revealed Ice Punch there that it was actually just going to be a Jover. I believe Darkseus is fine, though, at this point to win me the game. Um, I think I DD here always, because if I live, then um, I may as well, what's it called? DD is always right, because if I live, I know he's like, he's probably Scarf anyway, but I'd be faster then. Jesus Christ, that does so much. But we do defeat the Basque Legion at the end. My god. So, like I said, I guess the only turn I would have done better is actually made use of my Terra this game. And gone for my Terra Fairy with Eternatus. It would have just been a better play. I... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from the Kiram. I think I just expected Ice Beam. But even then, just Terra. And I live. You too, friend. We have almost the same username color, too. That's pretty funny. Mine's just a little darker smile. I'll give one of these back. <laughs> uh, Eternatus once again looks really solid this game. It is one. I, I feel. <laughs> one of these. Hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get him one of these. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this one's demonic. But yeah, I feel like I feel like it's very redundant because every damn video that I play in this format. Wow, guys, Eternatus looks really good this game. Yeah, because it's freaking insane. It's probably the second best mod in the format, at least in my experience. I feel like it's Ho-Oh, Eternatus, Groudon are like the three my, my favorite mods to use. I don't know, that's winky face. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> I think I just lead Etern though here. They lead Darkseas. This is a terrible lead. Mr. Noir. Yes, I think see so he led with this knowing Eternatus fucked his entire team sideways if he didn't and he could be uh t-wave this is that's the annoying thing about this mon it could be t-wave here and that would be uh detrimental to my sanity calm mind also is just a problem and that's the reality calm mind this is a threat i'm actually gonna go zygarde here they don't run ice beam as frequently anymore to my understanding so i'm just gonna hope i don't get ice beamed well, chat, we have, um, we have missed a dragon tail. So, unfortunately, I don't know, like, it, it's, like, unfortunately, but also fortunately, because it gave me father form. So, I I don't know. Do, do I like or dislike that? <laughs> um, unfortunately, Marsh is what comes out here. He's going to probably just polter. I don't want to go Arceus and get CC'd. Uh, I do like Mence. I do like Silence a lot in this game. It looks really strong. If he goes for Polter, I think Ho-Oh still lives. Ho-Oh is um, good to check this. Even with it being Taunt, I still do a lot of damage with Sacred. This Rabia? Indeed. Hi. Hello, friend. God, I hate this. Yo, Marshadow is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Uh, Polter, they'd have to Terra Ghost to schmix me. 
There's concern. How, how much did my ho take? I need to see this. Um, I'm offensive, right? 216 sounds about right. 220, 415 HP. All right. It's the same damn thing, right? So I do live with Ho-Oh. I'll scout. As they CC. And that damage is... Probably not banded? No, it's not banded. Okay, so I live a Polter, though. We know I live Polter. So I could throw up a Brave Bird here. Never mind, they have Rock Tomb. I forgot this mon can run Rock Tomb. Chat, are we fucked? It may, it may be more likely than you'd think. Maybe more like yeah, that's just a bad play by me. That is just a bad play by me. Quite literally, that is just a bad play by me. I will now go for my um overheats free here. If they go ho, oh, oh, I can always rock tomb the next turn. Thank you, fam. <laughs> do my best to play. I'm gonna do my best to play against the best. Well, I'm glad that you think that I'm good after that play. I did not agree with your um analysis. I'm gonna rock tomb just to drop the speed, because now I can spam blades a little bit more safely. I could try to up. Yeah, let's get the up first. Then go my own Arceus, and I get the faster taunt now. Yeah, I'll always taunt here. And throw off a Judgment, because they should switch. He's got a Sacred here. I'm going to go Eternatus. Unfortunate that they get the burn so quickly, but it's okay. I will beam here if they Terra, it's okay. They don't really have a lot of um options to Terra on their team anyway. I could Dynamax first to hit Dawn, but I mean, I get a, uh, if I beam into Dynamax kills this anyway. Yeah, they do Terra, so I'm actually kind of chill with this. Eternatus is still a huge threat, and I think I'll actually find some turns to Meteor Beam anyway this game, even in spite of the Whirlwind there. And like I said, getting this thing to Terra is good. It actually helps a lot for Dawn. I'm going to taunt here always. Gotten clout with so many Eternus. Yeah, the one's pretty broken. Yeah, I knew they'd try to defog there. Oh, there's Judgment here. Yeah, he is kind of OP. Um, I'm going to taunt this too. Because, I, yeah, I know that's what they're going to run. And we can just keep doing this. I'm going to Judgment here. Dodge a Sacred that's pretty lucky. I'm going to Calm Mind this time. As I go you, I'm going to try to win a speed tie. It may not even be a speed tie. He may just outspeed me. Um, okay, well, if he does outspeed me, it's fine. I actually could taunt as he switches here. Because I know he's not going to stay in. If he switches, hmm. I don't want Marsh to come out and force me to Terra Poison. I'm actually in Judgment again. And I'm going to just go off this being a speed tie. Cool. If he goes Marsh, I'd probably Terra Poison, though, on it. As I go Ho-Oh, I always Judgment there. As they Whirlwind. Yeah, so now we're in a really good spot. Ho-Oh has to switch. I get a free Dynamax on this. I go Mince here. Yeah, probably. It's interesting. I could stay into Dynamax this for more Chip. I could also just Hard Mince. Yeah, because he, like, he has to rock to him like that, and then I get to roost. I don't know why I did not, um... I, I don't know why I didn't mega there. Actually, it's fine. I keep, um, my Intimidate this way. We'll sub, see what he wants to do. <sighs> yeah, sub here always. Pointless to DD. I should just thousand arrows. Now we mega there always. We kill Raider. Which one was Raider? The Eternatus. Yes. I don't think I don't like how I'm playing this game. I'm definitely playing it way too conservatively. They go Marsh. Um, I'm never removing Hazard, so we sack this. We CC. Um, my Arceus can still win this game pretty easily. Not easily, but, like, pretty clearly. I'm gonna go Dawn, because I should be able to do something here. Let me just throw off a Blades. They probably go Zygarde here. 
I actually went hello first. That's interesting. I feel like a blades again. It's actually defog, which is weird. I'm not too sure about the defog in there. I mean, I can up. Okay, so I don't understand their desire to defog. I think they're scared of this being in a uh, range of a Dynamax from Eternatus? That's the only reason I could think of they'd do that. I'm gonna go into my Zygarde here. I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, they're faster now. <laughs> oh dear, this is where it gets tough. This is where it gets really tough. I think we just lose. Yeah, I can't beat him. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. GG. Yeah, I gave him the setup with Mr. Father, and it was over. <laughs> it was over. So what I needed to do better that game, I think I, I definitely misplayed with my mints a bit, but also... Maybe it was better to just Dynamax Cannon versus Ho-Oh, expecting them to phase me with the Terra. Because, admittedly, in this tier, there's really not a lot that's Terraing. Because so much can't Terra anyway. This guy's team looks whack. That's an Arceus Electric. Wow. But yeah, I should have expected him to just Terra the Ho-Oh. Even Fire Blast there makes sense. Because they're pretty much always Terra Grass. They're Terra Grass... 99% of the time, and I've seen a little bit of, um, like, stab for their terror, like fire or flying. Just so, on the offensive ones, you do more damage. I remember being told there's, like, a two-hit KO roll you get if you tear a flying Grave Bird on something. I just don't remember why. More Trick Room is annoying. I, I, this Mon here, Terra stealing Melmetal is just vile. I do think my Zygarde can 6-0, though. Like, not just off-rip, obviously. But Zygarde 100% has a good shot at winning. Uh, Mince is kind of worthless, but should be okay. Um, <laughs> I don't hate Ho -Oh as a lead. I'm gonna lead with it. Well, now now I hate Ho -Oh as a lead. What the hell's this? I literally have to go Dawn as well. Actually, no, I don't. I live a judgment 100% of the time. I still live a judgment 100% of the time. I'm also... I'm slower. That's really funny. <laughs> so Trick Room is negative priority. So I went first. But I am literally slower than this Arceus. Because, oh my lord. Yo, look at this. We're going to pretend this is a tactical EVing. One point slower than mid speed Arceus is insane. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. That's really, really funny. So... That worked out really well. We get rid of the Arceus Electric. Not, not to say this was like the biggest threat on their team or anything, but helps to be rid of that, I guess. I'm really scared of Calyrex. I'm not sure I can actually beat Calyrex with my team. I think it comes out here in Glacial Lances and I just lose. It's gonna have to be like I sack Mint. Yeah, so they went to it hard. I have I think I have to do something like sack Mints for the Intimidate. And then go Dawn the next turn to Overheat? There's like nothing else. I mean, I could go uh, Arceus as well, but Arceus takes so much. So I'm going to do the Sack the Mens. Um, I mean, Judgment's literally unresisted on their team. Let's just do this. But you're going to see how much this Glacial Lance is going to do a billion. They could just... Okay, just throw a Sala. Dude, what else do you think I'm going to? The Terra Poison. Oh, they're not even, um, what's it called? They're not even banded. Yeah, I have no idea what he's even waffling about here. That, that was the right play by me. Um, I could recover. I'll recover once. CC. Shut up, dude. Type less. I'm on. Yeah, there it is. I, I just needed him to be, uh, dead to next judgment. Stay in. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> The primitive urge here to um type in chat, uh, okay, just throw a uh, Cali or something, but I won't. 
Uh, this mod's worth keeping, but at the same time, I'm scared of switching and this setting up and then winning. You know? I guess Ho-Oh still checks it. I could recover once anyway. Oh, they coil. Yeah, we'll taunt then. Taunt first was apparently right, but... Dude, I... It's a Zygarde on Trick Room. You think I know what this thing's trying to do? I ain't got a clue. The nice thing is, I can Terra the Ho-Oh and for sure phase. The unfortunate thing is, terra Ho-Oh costs me a resistance to Melmetal's Bash of Justice. So, there's a bit of give and take here. But I do have my Dawn at full, at least. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> I also have no idea what this Jellison is here for. Is it, like, just here to set the room? I, I don't know. It's gonna hurt whatever this mod goes for here, but th this is the right play. Technically, my Zygarde I could go to as well. I feel like I could go Zygarde and Terra Ground on this, and it wouldn't be bad. I'm actually gonna do that. Like, I have no idea what this Mon is going to use. I could sub once. Ah, they're Dragon Tail and... Hey, I'm faster, buddy. Get out. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of Get out of town. <laughs> so yeah, sub there just to see what he's about. They set up the room with Mr. Jellicent now. I'll just throw off a thousand arrows from behind my sub. Um, they did Terra the Kali. I... I could tear ground this and kill. I'm just gonna assume I don't die. Or get flinched. Yay! <laughs> this was like the one and I get my father form. Cool. This is like the one mon I was a little scared of still. Just because Melmetal metal is so strong, but maybe I never needed to be. Um I just detail here always. Yeah, I mean, you can phase me there. It really doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna Dynamax Cannon. Yeah, like, you do not kill me with a thousand arrows, bro. You are a Zygarde. You are a Zygarde that is not transformed. I am unalarmed. I think we win always. I'll throw off the beam here. They can't KO me with anything. Yeah. Oh, they can too if you KO me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rut row chat, did we throw? The answer is no. Bars. Uh, just going to you down in judgment. And then they're left with a Jellicent at the end, which they're lunar dancing up to full. I don't even know what this does. I'm just going to go into Groudon here. I I don't think this ever wins. It Yeah, it, okay, so it was pure utility. We were always fine here. Which nice. So, Mints, like, again, that, that was just a pretty bad Salamence game, but we were able to throw it out and at least reposition versus the Kali. And then, as you all saw, Arceus Dark, very, very bulky, very secure, very safe and standard Pokemon, yumming up the move. Not caring, not caring <laughs> whatsoever about that Calyrex CC. We'll pause, find another game, I'll be right back. Alright, so this guy's team's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's Stall... It's kind of like a semi-stall type angle. Like, I, look, I see a Dondozo and a Ditto. <laughs> I'm calling it stall. I do know that my overheat to Dozo does quite a large amount. So if I'm able to have rocks up, probably pretty winnable just with Dawn presence alone. And I know I can always uh, sub up, deny this thing its happiness. I've got a uh, Dragon Tail as well, which out-prioritizes Dozo Avalanche. So that's really cool. And I can at least just, you know, always have that to bother his team. Will Zygarde 1v1 this? No. But it's helpful. Also, my Mints. I think with Mints, I could just throw off Double Edges this game. Aerial like Double Edge is really strong. I have to be careful about Meteor Beaming, though. I guess the nice thing is I am Terra Fairy. So if they try to Reverse Sweep, it doesn't really work that well. In fact, Terra Fairy in my Eternatus looks very, very strong this game. I'm going to lead Ho-Oh, though. They let off with the Dawn. Oh, P Dawn. Um, I'm just gonna Brave Bird. I don't think you're rock tombing me. Ow, P rock tombed me, no! I mean, this is literally fine though. It is the damage I wanted. 
Now goes Zygarde. I got my sub. And we chill. As the streets would say, he's just a chill guy. Alright, yeah, you can, um, go away. Man, I said you could go away! <laughs> go away! Hey, that's some good shit. You don't kill me. Why did I get toxic? Why would you ever toxic there? That made no sense! <laughs> okay, I, I, I actually got toxic was really bad. It worked out, obviously, but that was a really bad toxic from them. Like, genuinely, that made no sense. Because all you're doing is giving me a sub again, or letting me Terra Ground and kill you. So, I don't know why they did that. They had Dozo at full, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, my Zygarde gets poisoned here. Set up the rocks. This Mon's a threat, because I don't know if he's physical or special. Uh, special, I guess? Cover up. I ain't got a better play. Um, yeah, so he starts calm minding now. I'm gonna taunt. This gets to plus two here, though, which is shit for me. Oh my god, this guy is so lucky. These, um, what's it called? These turns are not good. I live, so I'm gonna... Oh my god, he's Power Gem! No! Oh, that's so bad. Uh... I think we just lose. Th that is so annoying, though, bro. Yeah, okay, this is just a bad game. The Calm Mind Edgequake, Arceus Ground, definitely a cool set. I'm sure it's definitely super standard, but my history with this mod is it's Ice Beam, right? So that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> Very unfortunate game there, though. I think I win if I don't let them poison Zygarde, but again, I'm like, there's no way they're... I don't know, that Toxic was weird to me, but it works because I'm not expecting them to Toxic on that type of turn. Is that the Mega Deancey? Is it just Hyper Offense, right? Yeah, it's like Super Hyper Offense. I gotta... No, I lead for... Because he can also be, like, Endeavor... Like, sub Endeavor, and he just endeavors down my, uh, Dawn, which is not what I want. The, um, funny thing is this thing going for Terra Ground early may actually be okay. I'm leading Zygarde here, because I think it's what I have to do. And yeah, I was correct about what this was going to do as well. I'll sub down once. Yeah, now I'm faster. So, I don't know if this actually helps, but I do get rid of their Deancey, and it does not cost me my entire team. I think tearing this is fine. Again, I, there's not a lot I can Terra in this tier. Terra grounding the Zygarde is pretty okay in my eyes. I don't love it, because maybe Fairy for their Eternus would be better. But I do have... I, I have some Mons at least can punish, or pressure, I should say. I'm gonna Dragon Tail, because I know they're gonna Sword Sense. How many misses has this had, dude? I'm like, I genuinely need to know. How many times have I missed Dragon Tail this video? It's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. i sub once. He did not light that burns the sky, unfortunately. I kind of was just... Well, he can't on the first turn. Oh, I get a crit, though. I get a little bit of get back. Let's keep in mind, if I had gotten the, um... Arrows off earlier, just be better. I'm gonna just arrows again. Though I should have definitely gone for detail. I could go mince. I want to see. Does Salamence? Does Mega Mince kill at plus one? If because they're gonna be an offensive Groudon. Groudin, my favorite Pokemon. Like if they're this. Wow, I really don't kill. I need Chip. Really? Really? I need I need chip on him? Like, Stone Edge will definitely kill me. I mean, it's gonna kill me because they're gonna get enough chip to do it, right? I don't want to give them damage on this. This mod, I think I actually just need to keep it full health. I could go Eternatus first. A turn, I can always go here. And if they want to E-speed me down, they're gonna have to, um... 
I would love for them to go to Groudon and give me the chip I need for Mence. That would, that would actually be the best case scenario here. Or stay in. I mean, E-Speed is annoying to have to deal with. I'm okay with that, too. I just want to make sure I preserve my Dawn, because I don't think there's any reason to give them that. So please land right here. Thank you. That's 50. I could try to recover, but it's not going to really be that good, so we're just going to do this. Now, the question is, are they going to hard Eternatus here and force me to think? Or are they going to do something like go Dawn? <laughs> if they go Eternatus, I think I Fire Blast just to say I'm calling out your Terra. All right, well, they're giving me the damage I needed on this, so that's really cool. Is it, you Rock Polishing does not win the game. Because I just go into this and I Judgment and kill you. I could even spam Recover and try to dodge, but yeah, I have to do this. They Heat Crash. That does over half. My god. The only reason I'm surprised, by the way, is because this is obviously a very heavy Pokemon, too. So, like, kind of shocking to see it drop like that. And it still is tricky. This is still a very tricky game to win. Because they've got... They're able to chain their um, setup stuff a little bit better. I'm just going to Judgment, because I know they're Meteor Beaming here. The question is if they're going to spam Recover and try to PP stall my Judgment. Like, Ho-Oh can come out in Revenge Kill, but the problem with doing this is it's going to give them Zekrom, like, for super free. Unfortunately, it, I just can't go Mints. I have to go Ho-Oh here. Better to Whirlwind, actually. I think it's legit better to Whirlwind. Because this, they also tear it. Oh my god, wait, this is so good now. Keep in mind, I did this because it gives me a bit better of a long-term play. Now they don't have a boost on this. I don't actually know if this part helps. Because I definitely still die. I can sack Mence here. Hmm. I don't know if this actually helped. It may have not helped one bit. <laughs> I think the second one... Oh my god, it didn't kill. I choked. Oh my god, I choked so hard. You know, I think the second one was greed. I think that second whirlwind is actually what cost me the game there. That's so sad. The second whirlwind is bad because it gives them Eternatus again, and I severely underestimated just how much damage Dynamax was doing. That was just bad. Admittedly, a turn living on one there is kind of absurd. How much damage did it take? 56 feels low. Is that normal damage? Or were they like randomly bulky? Um, they tear it. Okay, now that's actually a high roll I got. Um. Something is not adding up about damage. Clearly there is a set difference here. My opponent has changed their team. As you can see, they now have a female Jellicent. Uh, I'm not happy with how this video is going, though. <laughs> We're just not getting wins. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to lead Arceus this game. Because I know this guy wants to try and set Trick Room. So I'm just going to say no. Y y you know, I don't really feel there's a lot they can do about that. They can switch. I don't think you have it in you. Yo, know, I just don't think you have it in you, buddy. <laughs> now I'm going to call mine with my Darkseus. Let's see, can I sweep them? I definitely can sweep them. They're gonna give me 500 turns to set up. Mm-hmm. Give me, give me all the turns, brother. I don't even need to boost more. I'm just doing it to send a message. That's really all this is. He's mental herb. My opponent is garbage. Trash. Buns. Cheeks. <laughs> every, every word under the sun. I'm gonna recover up. Why you gotta be mental herb, bro? I should have uh, judgmented anyway and just taken my chip. Oh, they also went Mel Metal, so they could sacrifice their Pokemon for no reason, so that's pretty cool. Oh, this is so ass. I'm gonna overheat here. I hate that they did that. Because if you if I judgment, you're just dead. I should have taunted. There's literally it, I should have taunted. I thought they were gonna Terra though or something. If you Terra Fairy to get the room up. That is it's a 50-50 then, I guess. But I think Judgment's better, because if I force Terra, who cares? So that's how you optimize that, I guess. Yeah, that's shit for me. 
They tear up flying as I uh, overheat them. So that's pretty funny. I will press Stealth Rock here just so they are set. And we know this is also, um, Dragon Tail. I'm gonna go my Zygarde versus it. Y'all saw how this went last time. I am, I'm faster, so I literally get to phase. And if we can force in, uh, Melmetal... Okay, well, that's not Melmetal. So the point there is you want to force in their Melmetal so that they can't ever go for this. This guy really types way too much, by the way. This guy types way too much. I can't lie, man. Um, they still have Terra. We know they're Terra Poison from last time. Subbing doesn't help because they're just going to go for Glacial Lance. I can go... I haven't Terra, right? Yeah. No, I'm not misremembering. Um, I can go Ho-Oh on this. Because I know I live one Lance. And if I, um, Sacred Fire burn this, then obviously they're in a bad spot. And if I force this to Terra Poison now, then I don't think they're in a particularly good spot. I can also now taunt this whenever I need, so I guess it's okay. Um... Let me just... <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm better than you. I'm better than you, bro. <laughs> We're only just to check the priority. <laughs> Y'all think I won't do it again? You think I won't do it again, bitch? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. You kind of got smoked, brother. Oh, he got smoked. He got cooked. That was egregious from me, bro. That was dirty. That was a dirty play by me. I'm, a, I'm, call me Ric Flair, man. Call me Ric Flair, dirtiest player in the game. Evil intentions. That's all I had. All I had were evil intentions. And again, I know this is um. I'm just gonna hope I'm. Glacial Lance did like 50 last time. 55. I'm taunting you. Why did I... I fucking misclicked. And by misclicked, I mean I know this dumbass is gonna go for fucking Dragon Tail. <laughs> oh, I'm so ass for this, dude. I'm literally outplaying the shit out of him, but then I give him a play like that for no reason. I'm just gonna recover up. This mod's never sweeping. But that was really bad of me. I, I don't know why I'm not judgmenting with this mod. I'm literally misplaying because I'm in my own head right now. It's really unfortunate. Well, the funny thing is now I'm always faster than you. I'd love to finally get to bring out the stoop. No, all I can do is bring out the mons that I don't want to see. I'm gonna sub. I hate that sub isn't gonna give me my father, though. Oh, he's gonna give me father form. Cool. But yeah, no. Oh, I should have probably detailed this anyway. Um, they're gonna Lunar Dance here, I think. Yes, I'll DD up. Unfortunately, Melmetal. He didn't go Melm! Wait, he didn't go- he wasted on Arceus? Oh, hold up. Misclick, no. Good. I'm literally gonna spam sub. I mean, this literally doesn't kill me. It did nothing. Wow. I mean, it did a lot, but it didn't do enough. So, they end up wasting their healing wish. But game on, it's not like I actually misclicked. I'm just not thinking through the plays where I know Judgment is always better to go for it. I'm just like, nope, tunnel vision, tunnel vision, tunnel vision, taunt, taunt, taunt. Even though it's like, he's dragon tail in here. Just attack it and kill it. <laughs> like, the Zygarde is definitely dying. And if it's not dying, it's taking down to like 1%. I just don't think this dies to my move. Um... I don't think you one-shot. I don't care if I one-shot. I don't need to. I, I literally don't need to. Unless this is Trick Room itself. The question is if it's better. I don't really care. You are yapping to the wrong person. The only play running through my head is whether or not I sub here. If you're Trick Rooming, can you play fast? No. <laughs> no. I gotta think if he's lancing here or if he's trick rubbing. I think he's I think he's lancing because of how he's typing. 
I don't, I, I'm gonna be real. I don't think this guy is um powerful enough to mind game me. Yeah, that's just a fact of life. He, he is he is simply not. Uh, let's just assume he's that set. How much am I doing if I like tear a ground even? Only 60 is not nearly enough. Um, I think I could literally sub anyway. And this just lets us scout out what he wants to do. Um, I think it's better to preserve the Terra. And just do our damage like that. And now we get to switch. Um, I could go Mence. Salamence, Mega. I want to see how much my Double Edge does. Dude, I swear, this mod just never does enough. Like, it, there is a roll to kill, but it never is enough. I'm actually going to um, tear Poison just in case. Like, it, this really does not matter that much. Because their Zygarde is never enough. Like, I literally just Judgment here twice, and this should die. Okay, well, I got a crit there, but... Y'all see what I'm talking about. Like, I would have lived the hits anyway, and we were fine. So. <laughs> so what have we learned about Mints? Well, apparently, it's hard to find good games with Mega Salamence, huh? It, I just feel like every game, I mean, damage is just not enough. Some of the games I definitely didn't play well enough. Like, I'm gonna be real, this video was not my best gameplay. Especially this last game. I think this was a microcosm of the video overall, though. Where very simple misplays I am making because I had my... I kind of wanted to sweep with Mega Salamence. <laughs> so I'm, like, thinking about, like, in some of these games, okay, how do I get an immense setup? This game wasn't really ever a immense setup, but y'all even saw. I was trying to see, can I get it out to do something? And, um, the reality is it didn't do much of anything. RC Random Combined Arceus form, though, once again, showing just how insane it is. Ar Arceus forms being good in Ubers, obviously, like, duh. No one no one thinks that's a unique take, but I think Darkseus has been one of the best. I've only used, like, Darkseus and Fairyseus, really. But, I mean, goddamn, it's very easy to tell why they're so good. I hope all y'all enjoyed, though. In spite of, like I said, the gameplay I don't think was particularly on point. It, it is what it is. You got days where you're on point. You got to get bleh, days where you're severely off. Just like how even LeBron James... Once scored single digit points in a regular season game. Back before, I think some of you watching this channel were even born. It was in 2007. And that's why he's the GOAT. Thank y'all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.